Hey. So, since I've been making, you know, some videos lately, I've been getting all these emails and comments and crap. So, I figured, you know, when I'm sitting here reading them, I might as well just, you know, roll on my computer and, and uh, answer some of these questions and let you guys know uh, what's crapping. Okay, here's one. Hey Raven Vapes, I watched your advanced coil videos and those things are crazy. What's the biggest coil you've ever made and what was it? The biggest coil I ever made was in Indiana and uh, I went to prison for it. Was it worth doing time for? Of course it was. I searched Google Maps for almost two years, a year and a half, and I found the perfect location. It was in Indiana, in a small town that happened to have two power stations fairly close to each other, connected by one road with a 75-foot metal suspension bridge over a river. Back in the day, all we had were atomizers. They were like three ohm atomizers. And they'd come with this, you know, this little piece of mesh going over the coil. That was called the bridge. And you would take that out as soon as you got your atomizer. And it was called debridging. You would debridge the atomizer, okay? This atomizer was a frickin' bridge. It was a frickin' bridge. I ran, it was at nighttime, I ran almost two miles of cable. I had it all wired down as into a, uh, an old Vamo I had, just because I thought it was funny, uh, as the trigger. So you're probably asking, you know, how, how do you wick a bridge? This is one of the many reasons I was put in prison, is that I stole a semi-truck, it was a delivery truck, from Bed Bath & Beyond, and uh, it was full of uh, duvets and, you know, these pillows and crap. So I kicked over a 50-gallon drum of VG in the back, I drove the sucker up there, and... Uh, Everything had had time to soak in the back of the truck. I threw everything everything that was in the back of the semi, I threw out onto the bridge. I went down uh, into the ravine, and I hit the trigger. And guess what, kids? The shit worked. Okay? I For a moment there, I was actually getting vapor. I actually got vapor off of this bridge. And then I got, you know, an explosion, and I got a lot of fire and a car chase. Strange part about this tale is that uh, when I got out I kinda you know investigated a little bit to see what happened after while I was in there. Apparently they rebuilt the bridge. They replaced it. It was paid for by RJ Reynolds. So what the shit does that mean? Alright let's see I wanted to write I wanted to write you because I know you work at NASA and was curious about how they feel about vaping there. Are there any other vapors there besides yourself? Vape hard. There's no hardcore vapors at NASA, okay? For those of you in the know, I work at JPL. I vape in the wind tunnel and I help them test aerodynamics on shit, okay? Now, uh, there's a couple guys that use, like, you know, Sigalikes, uh, but nothing real. I will say that vaping has affected NASA, okay? On one of my breaks one day, I was uh, in the break room vaping hard, and some of the scientists came in, and they couldn't even see me in there, because uh, was, was, the clouds were so dense. And they noticed that there was a sort of a light mist uh, on the walls. So they started asking me all these questions about, you know, vaping and about what it is and how it works. And they're 
you know, taking samples and stuff. And then they start talking about, you know, maybe vapor could be a good way of building an atmosphere on Mars. If you haven't noticed behind me, uh, it's a photo f that I got from work. It's of the Mars, uh, the Mars landscape taken from one of the rovers. So they're thinking, hey, maybe this could help kickstart, you know, Mars, get, get some water going on up there. So I suggested them, look, you know, you said, let's send some vapors up there. Okay? It'll be raining VG in two weeks, I guarantee you. You send us up there now. And they were not into the idea. They, I think that they were, you know, more like, let's get some robots up there to vape. Zero Nick. So, you know, it kind of got, I held the guy down on the table, which I should not have done. It was not, you know, necessary. But I told him, look, you send us up there and we will vape the shit out of that place, okay? And then, you know, in a couple months, you guys come on up and make sure you bring your freaking jet skis. All we need is a inflatable vape shop and a shit ton of juice, okay? Maybe some solar-powered battery chargers. You know, build robots that, to make coils for us. That's what you need to, you know, start working on. Get working on the, the coiling robot. So, you know, obviously they haven't sent any vapors up there, but one thing most people don't know is that Curiosity, the rover that's up there now, it's got a mech mod and an Addy in its little robot hand. Seriously though, you get a you get a go down to a vape shop, you get a busload of vape necks up there, and we will seriously sort out that environment. So is there vape on Mars? No, not yet. I'm working on it. All right, next question. Let's see. No, no. Raven Vape, what's your take on clones? Do you use them? Do you have any problem with them? Thanks. Hashtag vape hard. What an untapped topic. What a completely original question. First of all, my name's Raven Vapes. It's not Raven Vape. So maybe, you know, if you're going to take time to write, you ought to take your thumb out of your ass, Mon Chi Chi, and learn what the person's frickin' name is. Okay. So clones. All right, let's play a little game. Let's play a game. It's called Spot the Clone. Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, some pictures. You tell me which is the clone. Sound good? Alright, here's the first one. Okay, so which is the clone? One on the left, one on the right? Wrong. They're both clones of this one. Okay, next picture. Okay, so which one's a clone? This one? That one? Do you know? Guess what? It's this one. This is the original, and that one's the clone, okay? But guess what? That original is an original clone, okay? It's an original shitty clone of this one. This one happens to also be a clone of this one. So, you starting to feel like, uh, who cares yet? Yeah, me too. Okay, this next one. Yo, do you know where to get sick drip tips? I go over all the gear that I use on my website, ravenvapes.com, so check there. Uh, you can also find a lot of the cool, sort of weird vaping stuff over at uh, vapingmachine.com. So you could also check that out. Here's another one. Hi, I've watched all your videos and I wish I could blow my clouds in different shapes like you do. I'm sure you do. Will you ever make videos showing vapors how to do it? This is a long process uh, to where you're getting to the point that you're throwing shapes. Now, I've done the first step of this process in my video, Advanced Vaping Lesson 1. I'm going to be getting to step 2 
soon, but honestly, I think you need to do some soul searching, okay, before before you do anything. You need to go back and watch that first video I did like a hundred times, okay? Because I don't think that you got what it takes, and I don't think you're going to stick with it, okay? The fact that you wish you could blow clouds like me means you're a wisher, okay? And vaping's not about wishing, okay? It's about dominating the elements. It's about discipline and control. And you think that just happened because I wish it happened? How about this shit? Okay, I'll do one more and then I'm probably never doing this again. What a loser. This jerk is bad for vaping. This guy's a conceited asshole. Okay, so first of all, I'm not an asshole if an asshole calls me an asshole, okay? It's just an asshole saying something at me. And it's going to be the type of thing an asshole says. Alright, so let's get that straight. Am I a loser? Yes, I am a loser. I lost my patience for vapors that uh, think they've been around the block because they've been vaping for four years or less. I think you, uh, I think you sound like the kind of guy that likes basements. I think uh, you seem like the kind of guy that likes Velcro on his tennis shoes for ease of use. You seem like the kind of guy that truly doesn't understand vaping and certainly could never distinguish what's good or bad for it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion and what I think is bad for vaping is vapors that forget that. Think I'm a loser, think I'm an asshole. That's your angst, not mine, okay? So while you're up on your high horse deciding what's good for vaping, remember that I was revving coils and chucking clouds back while you were still stealing Virginia Slims out of your mom's purse. And that must have been pretty tough to do because I hear your mom's purse is really big. And Virginia ain't that slim. Alright. I'm out. Vape hard.